Hello guys, I'm Boys and Girls. In this video, I will show you how to edit like Keanu visuals in Premiere Pro. As you know, it will be a lot easy if you edit this on After Effects. So in this scene, you need motion tracking. Unfortunately, Premiere Pro doesn't have any motion tracking feature. So yeah, so my video doesn't look exactly like Keanu visuals. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First, go to New Item, Sequence, Horizontal 920, Vertical 1080. Let me add a video into the timeline. Now I'm going to add some social media logos. Add to the timeline. Go to effect controls and decrease scale size. Let me add the top two logo layers. First, let me animate the WhatsApp logo. Set keyframe for position and scale at the beginning of the timeline. Change scale size to zero. Go 10 frames and increase scale size. Place the position on top. Let me change the position slightly to the left. Now go to effects and add basic 3D. Set keyframe for civil. Change to 350. Go a few frames forward and change civil to 0. Now you will get this rotation animation. Let me turn on the Facebook icon and animate it. Do the same steps that we done before. Change the position to top. That's it. Turn on Instagram icon and animate it. Change the position to slightly right. Now you will get this type of animation. I want these three logos come straight from bottom. In here, I want all these logos to go different path. Select Instagram layer and let me place this playhead over here. Place the position like this. Do the same for the WhatsApp logo. Let me slightly decrease the brightness of the background video. Just go to effects and add brightness slash contrast. Decrease brightness to minus 53. Now for these three logos, go to effect controls, change blend mode to hard light. Now what I'm going to do is increase the scale size of these three logos. Adjust position. Let me place these guidelines to make everything align it perfectly. If you don't have guidelines, just go to the view, check show rulers and show guides. Go to effects and add bevel alpha to these three logos. Adjust its thickness. I want a small zoom in animation for this Facebook logo. For doing this, I will set a keyframe for scale in here. Go a few frames forward and slightly increase the scale size. Now, I will zoom out all these logos by setting keyframe over here and change scale size to zero. Add this zoom out animation for WhatsApp and Instagram logo by placing this playhead over here. Set keyframe for scale, go one or two frame forward and change scale size to zero. I will now show these three logo layers. Using guidelines, I will create an outline like this. Select this rectangle shape tool and add a shape like this. So on top, where the car image will be placed, so in middle, there will be a search bar. On bottom, there will be a keyboard. Go to effect controls and change fill color to black. Now I'm going to create a glass morphism like effect. So cut this video in here using razor tool. 
Create a duplicate of this video by holding Alt or Option key, drag it on top. To make the corners rounded, just select this small circle and drag it to top. Or you can go to Essential Graphics and select the shape layer. Adjust the value. Go to Effects and add Trackman key to the top video. Change the match to video 3. Add Gaussian Blur to the top video. Change the Blurriness to 750. Place this Gaussian Blur top of the track mat. Now you will get this type of effect. Add Tint to the top video. Change the map white to black. Adjust the amount of tint. I'm going to add another shape layer over here. Make the corners more rounded. Add a shape layer, change fill color. Let me add some icons in here. First, create a rectangle shape like this. In shape, change fill color to white. Make the corners rounded. Now I'm going to add the car logo. Place this over here. Using type tool, I'm going to add a test. I will select these three layers and nest it. I want this rectangle box to be slightly transparent. So select this rectangle layer and change blend mode to lighter. Decrease opacity to 40 or 45. Now I will add a truck icon. Place it over here. Add test. Go to effects and add tint to the truck icon and test. Change the map black to white. Select both layers and nest. Now I will add a car image into the timeline. I just scale and position like this. Now you can see some of the portions are outside. What I'm going to do is select the rectangle mask tool and create a mask like this. Let me slightly decrease the opacity to 80. Mask expansion to minus 5. Next, I'm going to do is add a user icon over here at the top right. Add a rectangle shape layer like this. Make the corners rounded. Place this at the top right corner. Make sure the user icon layer on top of this shape layer. Go to effects and add tint to the user icon. Change color map black to white. Nest these two layers and add the scale and position a little bit. Now I'm going to add a logo in top left corner like this. After all that done, I'm going to cut this video in here. Nest all these layers. Place this nest sequence on top of this nest layer like this. Set keyframe for scale and position. I want this grid to go from middle to top. Scale to zero. Go a few frames forward and say scale size to 100. Position on top.
Let me select this button as a sequence and set a keyframe for opacity. Go a few frames forward and change opacity to 0. Now for the topness sequence, I will set a keyframe for opacity over here. Go a few frames forward and change opacity to 100. I am going to create the middle portion. For this, let me cut the video over here. Create a duplicate and drag it on top. Select the rectangle shape tool and create a rectangle box. Make the corners rounded using type tool. I am going to add a test X. Place it over here, add another test and place it over here. Go to effects and add track mat to this top video. Change the mat to video 4 where the rectangle box is placed. Add Gaussian blur. Increase the blurriness. Place the Gaussian blur on top of track mat key. Now add tint. Change the map white to black. Slightly decrease the amount of tint. Create another rectangle box and place it over here. Under shape layer, change fill color to none and stroke to orange color. Slightly increase the stroke width size. Let me add a test. I am going to add the magnify icon over the left side. Add a tint to the magnify icon, change the map black to white. Select the ellipse tool and create a small circle like this. Check fill color and uncheck stroke. Fill color white. And let me add a test X. Place this inside the small circle which we created now. Add a location icon over here. Add a tint, change the map black to white color. Now let me add a test. Now I'm going to animate the test. Go to effects and add crop to the test. Set keyframe for right. Change to 80. Go keyframe forward and change 50 or 52. Let me place this top nest sequence to the right, nest all these layers. Place this newly created nest sequence on top, now I am going to animate it. Set keyframe for scale and opacity, I want this to zoom in middle. Do the same sense as we have done for this bottom nest sequence. Just make sure don't add any keyframes for position. So let me add another shape layer like this. Change color to orange. Place the shape layer over here, adjust scale and position. Set keyframe for position and go a few frames. Then the next letter come, place this line to the right. After that done, use the razor tool and I'm going to cut each frame like this. Delete it one by one. I am going to add a keyboard image over here, add a scale and position, slightly decrease opacity. Let me nest these two layers. For keyboard, I will set keyframe for position, scale and opacity. I want this to go from middle to bottom. Adjust the position keyframes accordingly. Scale at the beginning 0, go a few frames and increase the scale size. Same for the opacity. Beginning 0, go a few frames forward and increase the opacity. We are at 80% finished.
let me decrease the scale size of each another sequence double clone the another sequence and let me delete all these adjust position and scale size set keyframe for position and one more time and adjust it I will select all these layers and nest it. Now go to effects and add basic 3D. Set keyframe for tilt. Go a few frames forward and change tilt degree to minus 10. Also, I will set a keyframe for swivel. Go a few frames forward and change swivel to 7. Go again a few frames, change tilt to 10 and swivel to minus 7. Now I'm going to add guidelines over here. This is where the profile picture is placed, and this is where the icons are placed. First, create a shape layer like this, decrease opacity to 80, make it rounded, add logos, add the scale and position. Let me delete this FB icon. Next, these layers. Now I'm going to animate it, set keyframe for position, and place it to the right. Set keyframe for opacity, change to 0. Go a few frames forward and place it to the left, change opacity to 100. Yeah, now let me add a profile icon over here. Set keyframe for opacity and position, place it to the right and opacity 0. Go a few frames forward and place it to the left, opacity 100. Copy this basic 3D and paste it to these two layers. Now, let me set keyframe for scale for this background video over here. This is where the logo zoom in animation is happening. Go few frames forward and change the background video to its original scale size. In here, where the basic 3D animation is happening. For, so first, let me slightly increase the scale size of this background video. Copy this basic 3D and paste it to the background video. Yeah, and that's it ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If you find this video useful, give a like, subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos. And I will see you on my next video.